we got on, Amy? Uh-huh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's not on, no. They don't come on simultaneously, though, right? Is that, well, usually mine's on. Mine's not on. It says recording, and sometimes it keeps on. Is that bad or good? I guess I'll resolve the law. Does anyone know who uh, Anthony Kalali No. from the city of Kent? Mm-hmm. Planning? We're on. No. Okay. We did the planning. Oh, all right. Okay. Right. And you want to hold that chair, Kathleen? Yeah, no, sure. okay. Uh, no, I, I can get it, Kathleen. Thank you. Did we? Did you do the consent agenda? No. no. Is there any changes to the consent agenda? Anything want taken off to discuss? Yes. Okay. Under the HR, I'd like to pull the HR consent agenda, and also number eight from the internal services consent agenda. What? Okay. I read the agenda, but what is? Did you say on the internal services agenda? I would like to pull the HR consent agenda, and I would like to pull number eight from the internal services okay. consent agenda. Okay. Um, is there a motion then? For the I make a motion that we approve the remaining me- uh, items on the consent agenda for May 12th. Second. Any further discussion? Kathleen? Yes. Yes. Marie? Yes. Right. We will adjourn as county commissioners and we can be as all of these commissioners. Bill, let me get your back on the story. It's good. And I did read it. That's that important one that's always on top. It's on the first. Now, do we do the consent agenda on this one? In this? Now, this is different because we're different commissioners. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. On the, on the consent agenda for solid waste, I'd like to pull numbers D, E, and F. A second? Oh, I have a second. No, okay. All right, so we will pull for discussion. And I make a motion then that we approve the remaining items on the consent agenda for solid waste. Second? Before discussion, if not, we'll call. Kathleen? Yes. Yes, Marie. Yes. Okay. All right. Certainly. Okay. Shall I um, sure. go over the consent yes. agenda okay. that I have questions about? Your question. Yeah. On number um, D, I think that's the first grant mm-hmm. item. Yeah. Right. Um, in the in section one under resolve, um, it said that um, the purpose is to uh, the total project cost is 336690.92 to implement said program for the time period of July 1st through June 20th. And I didn't understand this because I thought 
the the I thought this resolution was to acquire a truck. No, this is just to accept the grant. We don't. We cannot do the way the Ohio EPA grants are set up. Uh, the time period is from July 1st through June 30th of the following uh -huh. year. This is just acknowledging that we've received the grant. I will come back in later. I will come back in probably the first week in June to do the official purchase of the well, truck. Let me tell you why I was confusing. I'm reading the title. It says, accept a grant award on behalf of Portage County Solid Waste Management District from the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency for the grant for the purchase of a new automated commercial front load truck. Right, that's that's what we put the grant under. So uh, the next time we can just strike after grant, the second community grant for the purchase. Say um, that again. After where it says 2016 community grant, mm -hmm. we can strike for okay. the purchase the so next time. We, well, I would still have to know what you're purchasing with it, though. Because you start off right. with a grant. Right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, right. yeah. under the second whereas it indicates that it's for the purchase of a truck. I, I'm trying to understand <coughs> that. I don't have any quarrel doing no, it. I just fine. want to understand what's going on because um, with this grant, you're going to be keeping the truck for your use, right? Yes. Or is it for someone else? No, this, this one is for, for the district's you. use. And so when you say... Um, for a total project cost to implement said program for the time period of July 1st through June 30th, does that mean that you're going to have track only during that period of time? No, or? The, the, we have, the base, they, they give you a year because they realize that you can, the way, the way they um, run their grants is we, we've accept, we've accept, we've got the grant now. Mm -hmm. But we cannot purchase anything until July, July 1st because on the 30th of July, I have to go down and pick up the signed contract by the director of the EPA, and then I also pick up the first half of the, of the grant to check. So what you're really saying, I think, is that uh, instead of saying to implement said program for this period of July 1st, you could say perhaps, if I'm understanding it correctly, mm -hmm. to... Uh, purchase the uh, truck, whatever to it is, able to, purchase the right. truck. to purchase the truck for the, during the time right. period of July 1st through, right. could we do that? That's that's fine because if, if you do anything prior to get having that uh -huh. July 1st, that negates the grant. They will ask okay. for the money back. But when I, when I read program, I think there's something other than purchasing sure. a truck and I think what I'm hearing you say today is you're only purchasing a truck. Yes. Okay. But I won't, I won't do that until so you could July. leave it up here. You could leave it as you have it in the title. Mm -hmm. If we could change just to, instead of saying to implement said program for the time period, you could indicate to purchase the truck, whatever, you know, naming the truck, right. um, during the period of July 1st through June 30th. Would that that's, do it? That's fine, yeah. Yeah, because they realize that if you order a truck, most of our trucks are six months out because they're, they're built to your specifications, mm -hmm. so that's why you have a year. Okay, so if we could change it that way, then I would like to make a motion that we accept a grant award on behalf of the Portage County Solid Waste Management District from the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency for the 2016 community grant for the purchase of a new automated commercial front load truck. Second. Is there any further discussion? Kathleen? Yes. 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 And then on the next one, um, I was confused by the, probably the same kind of thing. Right. I think this is just simply purchasing a truck for Habitat for Humanity. Mm -hmm. And we're the pass-through. Yes, ma'am. So when, so the title then is correct. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe it should say in the title for Habitat. Uh, on behalf or before, for I don't know. It's in the, it's in the right. body, so I don't think we need to change it. But under the resolve, it says 
with the matching funds will be provided from Habitat for Humanity for a total project cost of 46500 Is Again, it says to implement said program for the time periods. Could we do the same change sure. for this one for the purchase of a truck uh, during the period of July 1st through sure. June 30th? Okay. Well, you know, there is something to be said about the period of time of grant is given, and I think that's what you were trying to do. Yeah, um, I just... Just indicate the... That particular grant covers a period of time that is the program mm -hmm. project. Right. right. Quotes, unquote, right. program project right. is the purchase of a truck. Right, yeah. We, we have, they give us a year, but I, when it comes to the purchase sure. of a truck, I try to close it out as yeah, quickly understood. as I can. Understood. So oh, we sure. leave the dates in. Yes. Just put to purchase the truck during the period of July 1st through June 30th. Mm -hmm. That's that fine. That does yep. it? That's fine. Okay. I make a motion to accept a grant award on behalf of the Portage County Solid Waste Management District from the Ohio EPA for the 2016 Community Development Grant for the purchase of a new lift gate truck. Second. Any further discussion? Roll call. Kathleen? Yes. Yes. Marie? Yes. You just racking up those trucks. <laughs> This yeah. one's for Habitat. Oh, That's right. this actually, just so the board knows, this is the second truck that we've got mm -hmm. for Habitat. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to think. This makes the sixth truck that we've acquired yeah. through grants, including the two for Habitat. I got a front load from the Dirge grant, um, our roll off truck from EPA, this truck that I will discuss here mm -hmm. shortly. And then, uh, yeah, I've, I've, no, not done, I've not done that. <laughs> I'll just You're leave it at that. Says, I'm trucking. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I have possibly another one on the horizon. All right. On this last resolution, um, did you check with Todd about whether or not we can reinstate a fund that's already been Yes, this actually came from Todd's department. Okay. Uh, I work with Karen Garman okay. on the grant. And while we were reviewing the resolutions and paperwork for today, we kind of caught that we need to rename this grant because we no longer get them from the ODNR. They're actually from the Ohio EPA. So but it's the same. It's the same okay. fund, but we okay. just it, we just want to avoid a potential audit issue. Right. Hey, why this? Why that? And the auditor also, I assume, has approved it. I, I would have to check with Karen, but I knowing Karen, it's oh, probably yes. all locked in. Okay. It's, there's never a doubt in my mind. All right. If Karen is involved, it's done. Yeah. He's approved by the auditor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, a motion to reopen and rename fund 8349 from Solid Waste ODNR pass through Community Development 2, SW Solid Waste Ohio EPA pass through and then in brackets, it's C O M M D E. Yeah, for, for community development, community development yeah. right. Second. Any further discussion? Yes. 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 Okay, All right. Ahead. Touch a truck. We are going to participate in Touch a Truck at Maplewood this Sunday from 1 to 5. Uh, and what I decided to do was. Um, take the two newest trucks, and I apologize, I must have left the third copy on my desk. But that is also, that is the truck that we received from the Ohio EPA. So I'm going to take two, the two different styles of new trucks out there. Kelsey is going to be out there. I'll probably pop in at some point during the afternoon. But there's a couple of things that I want to point out, um, especially with this truck. Uh, I think for the residents that do attend, if you'll notice on the side of the truck, it states that we received the $200,000 grant. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to show the people yeah. that use our services that we can bring money back in to the county, yeah. to the district, to help implement the program. And with that truck, uh, generally when we, when we write grants at the district, we always make sure that we publicize the fact where the money came from. And I think Kelsey is going to put that on the website, but I also have invited Chet Cheney from the Ohio EPA, who is the grants administrator, uh, for a photo op. So what I would like to do is have Deb work with Chet, uh, because- Deb and Chet? Deb and Chet, <laughs> yes. Because I'm not gonna try to tackle your three schedules on by myself. 
Uh, but I'd like to arrange that and then let, let Mike know uh, to do a photo op with that and then probably um, do the same when we get the two trucks that we approved today. So, um, Tell me again what such a truck is. You just bring different types of trucks up there. Uh -huh. uh, Brimfield Elementary did this the one day. They had police cruisers up there, fire trucks. And where is it going to be? Maplewood at the parking oh, okay. lot. Okay, sorry. I'm and sorry. no, that's okay. And uh, it's it's really it's just fun to see the kids. Mm -hmm, sure. You know, we we don't allow them in the truck because we don't want to start the truck and have the windshield wipers on and, and yeah. things like that. Plus, it's a safety thing. Right. Or the arm picking right. up somebody. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We definitely want to avoid that one. Right. Yeah. We, we um, want to avoid. That. But it's it's just a good way for them to get to know the district. Sure. Um, you know, I thought about maybe taking one of the rusty red ones out there and say, "This is what we oh, had." This before is, and after. Yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, they're all headed to auction between today and tomorrow. Uh, the only other thing that I have um, is. Bill, excuse me for sure. I, I, no, I, that's okay. I really do need that one before the picture disappears. Uh, I was wondering if you might take that picture um, Saturday night. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. because um, yeah. when you when you're give one back. Yeah. Well, I've got uh, here's. I know what you want to do Saturday night. I okay. printed twenty of those things that I gave oh, you, oh, and I'll just put this on the packet, and I'll just oh, bring it with me, know, and I'll hand it off idea. to you. All right, okay. and if you want to talk to it, that's fine. I, I, I would, would prefer not, not because okay, I'll, I'll let you. It. I'll let you handle it. I'll just sit in the corner and. He's got a recliner though. He's yeah, I've requested from Mickey recliner. staff a recliner with an ottoman. I doubt if it's going to happen. Is there a crown or anything? No, 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 no. It's Mickey's. It's Mickey's building. I've always told him I'm very envious of his garage. Yeah, it is. It keeps um, it up very well. Yes. No, I'll be. Um, I'll make sure that I get one in advance, so I'll have yeah. some. A no. few cards. Well, what I'll do is when <laughs> when you show up, I'll just make sure I walk them over to you. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Great. The only other thing that I have, um, and just mainly for discussion, is every year JFS has the summer youth program uh, that I'm going to probably uh, contact them about. See if we just can't get somebody in the office to help with the phones. Uh, things like that. Uh, I just have to uh, dot the I's and cross the T's with that, and I'll probably bring it back. Uh, I will be out of the office the last full week of the month, so if there's something on my agenda, I'll have Don bring it over. And then I need about a five minute exec session at the very, very most. Okay. Today, here on the call. Yes. Okay. Yes. I make a motion that we go into executive session to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official, or the investigation of charges or complaints against a public employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual. A second. Yes. Yes. Do you want me to print more than just two of these, Maureen? Well. It Yes, we're ready. A uh, motion to exit the executive session. Second. Any further discussion on exiting? If not, we will call. Kathleen? Yes. Yes. Marie? Yes. For yes. action? Um, no action. No, no action. Um, is it okay to ask about the human oh, resources? Okay. <laughs> on, uh, on the consent agenda for today, there is two applicants for part-time, or I mean seasonal, workers for uh, the dog warden. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed on both of the applications they weren't completely filled out. There's no work history at all and nothing about their education and I'm just wondering um, if why that why it's not filled out. Well the ones at Kent State um, student, right? I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to the application before they were given the dog before they were going to stay back in time. The reason one was asking <laughs> We did not adjourn Oh, we did not adjourn motion to adjourn Southern Wings. Second. Thanks, Amy. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Amy, for getting us on the track. Wow. I didn't think about it at all. I'm going to stick like that and I'm out. Yeah. 
Um, the, the actually that I will have to, and I apologize. That I will have to go back and ask. I mean, we can go ahead and approve it. I don't have any quarrel at yeah. all with approving um, it, but I think it's important for them to fill it out, especially absolutely. since when Dave was in here last time, he was insisting that it be either yeah, a high, high school education or a GED. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and also, work history, I think, is important. Yeah, so and um, I will get an answer from Dave McIntyre. Maybe they, if they attached a resume, maybe I didn't get the resume when he brought these over mm -hmm. to me. I don't know, but I, yeah, I would yeah. feel, e even if they don't have any employment yeah, history, at least say non applicable oh, or yes, something. Yeah, so, I thought they were students. Okay. Um, you know, I think they're probably they're young for sure. Yeah. Just to be I think they, yeah, it looks like, well, this one, the one applicant looks like he, he did graduate. The other one still looks like he's mm -hmm. still attending or that's, that's possibly graduating this year. Uh, yeah. Janet, I suggest that you likewise suggest today that you make sure those are filled out prior mm -hmm. to some yes. And you know what? They actually come through my office, so I will, mm -hmm. they, they go through Jenna, so mm -hmm. oh, right. that actually she would be a, a good, mm -hmm. right. yeah. You know, she may have thought they were students also, True. that's what I thought. Yeah. It doesn't matter, they should still fill it out. Right, they should have something yeah. listed there. Um, for example, I know for JFS, we are now um, going to review all the applications for JFS and let them at, tell them if they're qualified or not okay. qualified for the position. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we need to extend that beyond one okay. department. But uh, yeah, I I apologize it in. No, that's all right. I just, Dave, I just it to think me. it's important that we have yeah. to fill it out. Even mm -hmm. if they say uh, high school student, mm -hmm. no experience. I mean, absolutely. Because otherwise, we're speculating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I do know if I would ever see anybody, you know, not sign an application, if they were coming in for an interview, I would mm -hmm. give them the application and make them sign. Yes. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, but yeah. yeah, but that is, th thank you for bringing that to our attention because I will have, uh, I'll ask so, Jenna to um, I make a motion that we authorize the employment of the, let's see, do we have a resolution for that or do we just do a journal entry? A journal entry. entry. A journal entry. Yeah, yeah. these two of them. Summer. Temporary. Seasonal canvassers. Yeah. All right, we uh, have about it. And we're out of executive session, so we're going to get now. Yeah, okay. The yeah. board authorizes the hiring of the two. Thank okay. you. Thank you the JEs. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I sent it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Did you want to second? Second? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 I think I'm coming back with Todd about the A Berry. Okay. I don't is Joanne coming in? If not, we can talk about Mom and Dad should be coming. Yeah. Probably on her way as we speak. And then again maybe not. Joanne had the uh, Yeah, that, but I mean, didn't she add, didn't she have a sheet that she questioned? Oh, um, she sent us, yeah, she sent us her comments right. concerning today's. I hope I have them. I don't know if I did have them, but. I think they're on my desk. These are about the uh, NDSD bond of Judd House, the, the inspector, the APA inspector, and then the. Is right. that Joanne's notes? Thank you. Right, right, right. right. Those are very yeah, well, yeah. right. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Is it okay to begin with the yeah. Okay. Number one is a request from NDS for a meeting about oh. the house that's on Meridian Street. Um, Brett Cromes is also involved in this, and uh, is it a land bank land issue bank. as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do you, you want us to schedule that meeting with yeah. the board? Yes. Okay. Can I ask, uh, Ricky, because you're a land bank, is it something that could not be 
incurred by the land bank funds? Is that why we're asking? Because they're asking us if we're interested in acquiring the property that's going to be vacant. Okay. They want to know if we want to take the property. Right. They want to know what action we wanted to do as the county. Did we want to acquire that property? Did you know, oh, I or see. we just oh, so yeah, the land bank can take it down and everything, but do we oh. want that property because it's adjacent to the admin building? I mean, I can don't know. Can we get it for nothing because we're county or the land bank? Well, part of the proposal is that um, is that they have the taxis has taken on certain costs. Look, and they, they have a loss, and it's like six thousand of their loss, and so when they come in, they'll tell us what the what the proposals are, and then we can decide. And Joanne, in her first comment for today's agenda, indicates she thinks that we should probably consider. Well, that, that money it. that taxis paid, though, I think the treasurer's office could probably, because they paid that to the treasurer's yeah, they, office. Right, they could waive it, or, I mean, well, they, they, they'd give it back, they'd refund it, right. because they've done that right, before. Right, right, yes, yeah, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Then there's taxes also of 2000 uh -huh. For this year, it would be taxes of 2000 yeah. something, I think. So it would be a bargain for us. Okay. Yeah. And Joanne is recommending that we consider doing it. So I guess the point is that we should have the meeting. And you want? Oh, yeah, there's no question. I just wanted clarification. You want to know what to expect? Yes, right, right. So you want okay. NDS there, Brad Cromes, Dave Vaughn, Frank Samino. It was oh, a recommendation okay. by Brad. Is that who you want there? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I, could, uh, I don't know. I'm looking to acquire it, but tell me not spend any money. Hmm? I think there's things in motion that would that would accommodate that, but that's why I have a meeting. Okay. Okay. All right. Number two is the request from Brimfield Township for the oh, yes. senior citizens' home. Yes. What is a farmer? Is that someone's last name? Pharmacitis, or what? What does that mean? I think that is. So I, think that donated, last name? I think yes. somebody I donated. I talked the house. very briefly last night with uh, Dick Messner. From Brimfield Township. Okay. Um, as you know, Mike Katinsky has called me and wanted to have a meeting, and which I assured him would know, be happy to do, uh, and let him know that I had no time that Gina Roberts was coming on board, so that I would think it would be best to wait until Gene and then Tia also could join us. However, then yesterday I read the letter. <laughs> and, and that the one line got you. Yes, the, the one line got me. <laughs> Yeah, Mike did not share that about the Yeah, I, uh, right. I, I mean, I was in my office alone, and I went, <gasps> yeah, right, right, right. But anyway, uh, certainly, how do you want to proceed with it? You How do we refer it to the water resource for their comment information? Oh, well, again, I've already committed to Mike Katinsky and to John. To that come in and talk with us. Right, we would have a meeting, and I'll follow through on that. So, uh, I, as I just said, well, I wanted him to wait till Gene Roberts came on board. And, and but I think if we have a meeting or refer it to water resources, we'd get the information as to whether or not it's possible. Oh, yeah. I, and what I, the cost I, would be. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> right. You're, so you're right. But it, it is possible. But yeah. you know, when we do meet problem. with them, then we'll have information as to whether or not we can. Okay, two things. So schedule a meeting out a couple of weeks right. and then right. give this to Mr. Roberts and have him yeah, investigate. Yeah, i him some time. Okay. So, we, so we hear from the water resource prior to the meeting sure. because we don't know what it will cost. We don't know whether it's even possible. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's possible. It sort of goes the street, but you let this down and it's go. Well, okay. I heard somewhere, and I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I heard that it's if it's a main line, what do you call the main line? Um, the trunk line? The trunk, trunk line. If it's a trunk line, you can't tap in individual oh. households into a trunk line. It has That's to be all, all of one. It has to be the whole thing. Whole thing. Well, I, I would assume if if that's correct. It's and under pressure correct, and you tap in. It would, you oh, couldn't do it, okay. but you could have a tap into the trunk line that would go to right, service okay. other people. I see. Gotcha. Yeah. But it's still a uh, cost. But okay, so we will proceed with that. Mm -hmm. uh, number three is a request from Mental Health and Recovery Board that the board put a replacement levy on the ballot. Uh, you, you really can't move forward until you get the certification from the auditor because that goes with this piece right. to okay. the, the question. And then we'll, you'll bring back a resolution. Mm -hmm. Well, 
the prosecutor will write your resolution for you. Oh, Once okay. we get the certification, the board can see this again. We'll bring back both pieces. Okay. You have a little bit of time yet. Okay. So you could acknowledge receipt of it today, just so that it's on your books. You so the journal, journal, journal entry, and yeah, then we'll bring it back as soon as Jenna sends up. Yeah. Right. And number four, Maureen, was an email um, from Mary Greer about solar energy. Yes, I responded to it. Uh, I'm sure you're both now up to speed and read it. But uh, she was very impressed with the program at uh, Bowling Green. Uh, and I suggested she give us some specific information. And I also asked them to go ahead and talk with uh, CCAO, maybe in some surrounding towns. I think I did. <laughs> I didn't do anything yet. We just have it here. No, no, but I, I mean, we talked one. about. Uh, or maybe by email, I just mm -hmm. asked if it get right. some additional information for us. Is that you want to proceed? So what was the C I like the idea. What is the CCA, or if you're going to get information from them? Well, I just thought there may be some other entities that are doing this. Oh, right. You know, where they have yes. some from that. Or the university. And then, right. we the university, yeah. typically. Someone that donated a field, and then they put up this. Right. Uh, Could we also uh, ask, to, to when you contact CCA, CCAO, how many people have joined the solar energy program that they had proposed mm -hmm. earlier? Because yeah. at the time there were only a couple of counties. Mm -hmm. I indicated that to Mary, not that there was only a couple at the time, but that we had made a presentation. So that, not to me what she was talking about, but right. Mary knew that we need to give further consideration, perhaps later. Okay. Referred items. Um, this. I guess we don't even talk about this for a lawsuit. No. It's, it's been referred. Right. Information on I'm trying to push my mind. Oh, the, from the city of Kent. Mm -hmm. The uh, request that they, they're going to not receive the bed tax. This letter really was to the county. Right. Yeah. And I, I'm sure that they'll follow up on it. I was curious as to whether or not they're allowed just to draw out if they were part of the formation of the County Convention and Visitors Bureau. But I'm sure they'll follow up on that. I don't know that we need to do anything. No, I, I think we're just our information. Okay, any mm -hmm. questions, concerns, whatever? Um, you have a please add. Under, uh, that's right, I hope I have that. Under uh, Joanne's comments concerning the apiary inspector, she's under the prosecutor. She said, oh, I don't know what I did with my add to my, it's probably on my desk. Let me run again. It's good. Oh, thank you. Um, under the A period, she said that we could make it a condition of employment that the apiary inspector provide his own tools. Yeah. Uh, and you want that to include any safety equipment, though? Yeah. Yeah. No, no I don't. I don't think Denise answered that safety equipment. She said we were responsible. To that. To she did, and it was based on the law that was given to us by Michelle, and the law that I read. Unless there's more to it. It just says that they have to ensure that they have safety equipment. It doesn't say we have to pay for it. Well, again, I think as we talked about this, thank you. Yeah. Didn't I appreciate it. No. P1, I think, is it? Yeah. I think we could at least put under P1. Yeah. I know, I read it. Yeah, I think she says she didn't say it. Uh -huh. yeah. So are I we want to go we against what Denise <laughs> says? Or? Well, I'd like clarification. Maybe I'll call Denise because it doesn't really say in the law that we have to pay for it. It just says that we have to assure that we there is We have to provide it. it. Doesn't it say that, Deb? Either purchase the equipment ourselves, the county can purchase it, or lease the items from a third party or from the employee That's Denise's himself. ruling, but turn to the part where it talks about Michelle's, where, where it talks, it quotes the law. We have the law. It's just like the water resources vest and the police, I would think, I mean, we provide that stuff. You know, they need it, it would be safety. my opinion, I'm going to voice it again, that he's doing a very necessary service. And I would think it would be something we'd want to do to provide him some protective, I guess, clothing, or whatever it is that they wear and the 
and, and they incur the cost. He already has the equipment. I'm not talking well, the equipment, talking, whatever that is. I'm talking state. about we do it with the sheriff's deputies on the vests. Of course, that's part of their union agreement. But we're concerned about our employees and safety. Have what, uh, Michelle said it's, it's in P1. You have it, your packet, your P1 packet? Your prosecutor's packet? So you have the emails there. Okay. Keep going, Kathleen. It's right there on your, in your left hand. Right there. As the employer of the interns, the board is required to provide him, her, all safety equipment. That's from Michelle or Denise. Denise. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's Denise. The revised code, which is under Michelle's thing. So now you're accepting Michelle's opinion over Denise's? I no, no, so. I'm reading from the Ohio revised code. Uh, what it well, actually I don't says. think we need to be forced to do that, though, Kathleen. I think Am I allowed to say anything here? You said it over and over, though. I would just like to make the point that the code says one thing, and the other people are in uh, making an interpretation of that. Okay, so it's so noted that the code indicates one thing mm -hmm. under the general duty clause. Okay, what? All right, here, I'd like to read it for the record. The Ohio Revised Code states it is the responsibility of every employer in Ohio to provide a safe workplace and adhere to all safety rules. Likewise, it is the responsibility of every Ohio worker to properly use the, the equipment, etc. Furthermore, under general duty clause, it says of the Occupational Safety and Health Act, that's OSHA from the federal government of 1970, employees are required to provide their employees with a place of employment that is free from recognizable hazards and that are causing or likely to cause death or serious harm to employees. The courts have interpreted OSHA's general duty clause to mean that an employer has a legal obligation to provide a work place free of conditions or activities that either the employer or industry recognizes as hazardous and that cause or are likely to cause death or serious physical harm to employees when there is a feasible method to abate the hazard. Uh, Joanne suggests in <coughs> that to us that we can make it a condition of employment that he provide his own tools and safety equipment, I would think. So the law is requiring that we provide a safe, make sure there's a safe environment. It does not say that the county has to pay for that. It makes sure that we have. But if we provide it, doesn't that mean we have to pay for it? What if he's at a B place or something and he doesn't have the right stuff on and he gets stung? I mean, I don't know. He's required to use it. If we make it a condition of employment, he's required to do that. Anyway. I'm not going to argue okay. about it anymore. Sure. Understood. So. I again, my opinion is that it would be. I think we should it provide would, them it the same equipment. That beneficial for him, and I think it. a very. So, I shouldn't say this, but I would imagine a very slight. Um, I shouldn't say slight. It would be a reasonable cost to provide him with some protective clothing, if that's how. If that's what that is. Now he or given him an allowance, yeah. maybe. Again, he already has it. Maybe we could just pay for it. I mean, sure, he already right. has it. We shouldn't be buying. Right. Anything. If he needs to replace anything. No, replace anything, no right. Buy. Maybe we can talk about some form of an allowance. If we're, I think, I don't that's know if we're, if we're doing that uh, for other workers. Um, and I would think we We do have a uniform a lot. We're used to I'm not sure. Like for safety boots. Yeah. If right. 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 Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so last time you met with Janet and Dave and Todd, right. you asked them to meet with Mr. Kuminski, Mr. Kuminski, oh. um, Mr. Alcon. So you want this on Janet's agenda on well, Thursday, on Tuesday for an update maybe? Where are they? So well, you don't we have uh, uh, an observation from Todd. Do you want to talk about that? Todd's about the... Oh, yes. He said... Uh, it, it pertains to this. Right. And given everything that, according to Denise's interpretation and, and what she was telling us with with Dave having to pay him out of a separate fund, I would think the result of this would be to ask Todd to supervise this gentleman. Make it as simple as possible. As simple as possible. But you know, do you want to hopefully you want to talk about that now. I don't know. Yeah. On Todd's note he indicates I think funny 
Did you um, see that? Yeah. Okay. I think you just, I mean, Amy just handed you a copy. I have one. Is it right there? It's right there to your right. That one? Yes. Is that yes, it? Yeah, I think it's P1. Um, he says that um, he would have him come in and, is this the right one? Yes. Yeah. yeah, he would have him come in and help write adequate policies. Well, the policies are already in state law, so there's no need for him to write different. I mean, the policies are part of state law. Well, I'm sure, but I don't know as though it's like they're, they're in the code or wherever they are. I think it's always nice to have, and I think we've stressed this with our departments, some written form maybe, um, and, and they have their personnel policies. I think Todd's talking about use yeah. of the vehicle, how right. that's going to work. And, I don't think he's talking about apiary. Talk, no, no, no. And, and he was right. talking yeah. about performance issues. In yeah, other words, exactly. And, some, and some measurable standard. Had about a time card. Exactly. That, that's, I think that's the policy yeah, exactly. set. Right. Right. He that's says uh, adequate policy regarding proper inspection and equipment cleaning techniques. I suspect that's all in state law. However, there are other things that he could, you know, like like you indicated, his mm -hmm. use of the car and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So, <laughs> if Dave McIntyre's, is, is he out of the, the picture now? So you would want Todd and Janet maybe on Tuesday to come in with HR I think to talk about? I think that would be I would think so. Unless either both of you have an opinion of someone else. No. I just can't see I us. I don't have a problem with Dave doing it, but, but I'm not sure that, that he needs two or three hours a week to do right. it. Right. Right. We yes. would have to pay him out of a different fund for the yeah. time. Right. And that just seems too complicated. And Todd does say that he, he would request a county on his cell phone mm -hmm. because he's going to keep in contact with us. He should have one anyway. Yes, I, th I thought he did. I thought everybody got that one. I mean, unless the drivers. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he didn't want one? Or I don't oh. know. Okay, so Tuesday? Yes. Agenda? Yes. Todd and Janet, is Dave coming to, or is he? Um, do we need to talk to Dave? I mean, we can, I wonder if we could just as a courtesy let Dave oh, know. Oh, sure. Of yeah. course. Yeah, just no, no. Okay. And only because of okay. charge. Okay. okay. HR agenda on Tuesday. Yes. Got it. All right. Is that okay? Well, what he'll about come. Right. He can bring that back on Thursday for John Tree. We'll tell him it's okay for him to move forward with the cell phone, but come back yes. to the board with the form yes. request. Yes. Okay. Or do you want to journal it today? For the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Add it to two. Yeah. For time? Okay. Okay. All right. That's lean. Moving right along. All right. So are we pretty to the agenda of what we're going to do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The temporary housing with Kelly, oh, the Kelly Service. Yes. Person. You would actually enter into an agreement with Kelly Services and not right. the person. Mm -hmm. And how many I don't recall her being named Kelly. Um, between 20 and 30, depending on how. But I mean, until there's no conversion. Oh, I, it's here. It's um, 521 hours. There's okay. no fee to convert. Okay. Do we need a resolution? Just a journal entry okay. to move forward. So we will journal entry today the hiring of the um, of, or Kelly Services. Mm -hmm. Kelly Services. And can we indicate the name of the oh. individual? I don't think that's necessary because your, your contract's not with her. It's with Kelly Services. But what if they send someone in? <laughs> we'll say, go away. <laughs> but Joanne will process all of this. Okay. Yeah, all right. so we, we definitely want the person that. So you know what? At 30, at 30 hours, just to make it simple, she would only have to work uh, a little over 17 weeks. Mm -hmm. so that we right. could to meet the conversion. conversion. If, yeah. in fact, this person would want to right. apply for a full-time right. job. Right. And if we wanted to. Sure. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. Good. Sounds good. Okay. It does. It's a plan. Okay, number two. Um, I just put this on. There's really no action for the board to take, but I did send um, Joel Mallory some information about a, a grant mm -hmm. that was available, and this is his comments as to why he did not want to apply for the grant. Oh. And then number two is just about the advisory committee. So I thought that was interesting that the board had talked about maybe gathering this committee together to do some things. I'm glad that's on there. Um, and the staff meeting, we had some discussion, of course, we did not agree to anything. However, um, the more I think about this, the more compelling it becomes to me to ask that somehow we reinstate that committee. Now, I understand there are some extraneous circumstances or costs, but I think we can well afford 
if we need to even hire somebody to do minutes because it involves the public. Uh, and we have said to the public we would involve them. Uh, we give them every opportunity. And we established that committee. I don't know as though we did it wrongly. We established it and then found out right. some things, requirements upon us that we would have to do. And we decided, well, we don't necessarily want to do those. But I think it erodes or, or um, also lessens the um, exactly what we have committed to do. And you know, Maureen, without having a form, a formalized <coughs> right. means for them to get together with us and and talk about these things. And you know, yesterday, I know you got very emotional about that, but nobody was disagreeing with you. I just want to make sure, I mean, we all were on the same page, but I know I you were very, but I think we need, I mean, if we need to do minutes, whatever we need to do, I'm not well, against any of that. But I, just, I just want us to go through yeah. Denise because she is the one, the reason no that we put a halt to it. Right. No, no and question. I just want to make sure we go through the right steps to do whatever yeah. it is that we need to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, yesterday, as we discussed with, with staff about an evaluation tool, um, and again, Todd's suggestion is an excellent one. I think we need to be receptive to that no matter what we're doing. And, and we have. We've often talked about it. But we do need an evaluated a, a tool that we can uh, actually use a criteria. Record, right. Record yes. what's being done and um, and be able, I think, you know, he even talked about some categories. Yes. And all good points because we are getting these requests in here almost on a weekly basis, and rather than nothing wrong with dealing with them individually, but but in my opinion, there is. I think. But we, we need to have a whole picture vision. Yeah, of, of what's come in, and I think he even suggested maybe even monthly or quarterly, we would we would fund certain projects. Um, but you know, just for us to, to put some, you know, say standards on the whole process. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's what I would like to see us. And do. I think our team. I've already started. I mean, I've reached yeah. out to right. the clerks well, we and reaching to out to some mm -hmm. other. And there's some um, just yeah. some samples in your share oh. file today yeah. of what other yeah. other yeah. entities yeah. have done in evaluating grants and those yeah. sorts of things. So we're we're moving forward with that. Oh, that's good. Well, then now he wanted to have this meeting with the sheriff. Uh, isn't that they'll they'll call that meeting themselves? And 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 they can. I. Is, if it doesn't violate anything. I'd like to be present. I'd like to hear what it is they are proposing to the committee. Um, but again, that gets me back on point. I would like us to see, uh, I'd like us to have some structure, some, you know, formalized structure. You that without any violation of anything, right? Right. You were just attending or not. Yeah. Attending. I don't know if it was in violation. It, it was as to how, I shouldn't say violation, as to what we would have to do to make it Legal. <laughs> Let me that pull Denise's emails. I'll pull all of her emails right, to refresh your memory as to what okay. she said. Okay. Then we'll put, give you this resolution, these two that we, I just gave you. Put that back on for a discussion to see how you want to move forward, if you want to move forward. Is that good? Is that okay? Sure. Great. Thank you. Okay, and number three, um, I wanted to get this before the board in case you were planning yeah, to meet. I thought that had been. That was a national. This, okay. is, this is just okay. for Ohio. So this is and it's a one dayer. Yeah. Right. Okay. So which commissioner would want to go if any of you would? What's June 16th look like on our calendar? It's on the next page. I gave you the calendar. And we can, we have plenty of time. We can um, change some of those around to get them to a different date. Is one page in. I'm sorry, on oh. number three. Go to number three. I'm still trying to find the calendar that day. <laughs> Okay. By the time I find it, the seminar will have been <laughs> concluded. Oh. So we can either cancel the day if the board, if one of you will be out of the office and the other attends, or we can just kind of condense the day into a very brief housekeeping meeting. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind 
attending that. It's just a one day I can come back the same day, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's like it's 8 to 5 or 9 to 5. We can fly you down with the pony. Jet. Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Airplane, helicopter, whatever. No, why did I say that? We don't have a pony jet. Yeah, team. you should We should probably clarify that. that. Refrain from those kind of things. Would, would anyone else like to go? I mean, I don't want to be just... I think it's going to be an ongoing process. Oh, there's going to be like every like, right next so year. Often. There'll be things going on because it's part of the stepping up program, okay. and I think you were involved in the past as well. So it's a good choice that you'd be willing to go. Okay. So I'll I'll respond to Joel that okay. Vicky will be going. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. That's it. Next. Yeah, I brought yes, the information. Gotcha. Um, you wanted to hold item number eight on my consent yes. agenda, so I brought that with me okay. um, for your questions or whatever. Okay. Here's the blue sheet for oh, a little bit later. <laughs> the, uh, I think number eight was the Portage Development Board amendment, number two. Yes. On oh, the consent I'm agenda. Your number eight on the blue sheet. Okay. No, no, on the consent agenda. I didn't know what you wanted to do yeah, first. I have a question. Yeah. Um, it, it mentions it's an, it's an amendment to an original agreement, or is this a third amendment? This is the second amendment second to amendment. their original so agreement. We don't know. It says all of the terms and conditions remain the same as the previous amendment. We don't have the previous amendment. Do you recall what they are? I mean. Um, from the so original we agreement? It to the, um, did we approve it? Yeah, yeah, we did. You did, and um, the only thing that's changed from the original is the amount of money that you pledged to them each year. Your last right. year's was 20000 this year was 50000 yeah. So yeah. were there any conditions? Uh, nothing else no, changed. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Yeah. Um, then I would like to make a motion that we enter into an amendment number two between the Portage County Board of Commissioners and the Portage County Development Board. Second, Portage Development Board. Sorry, yeah. Any further discussion? Yes. 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 I forgot to give this to Dan. It's okay. 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 On the blue sheet. Blue sheet. Yes. Okay. Um, the first item that changed for us is um, the Kent concrete was sealed. So we're moving to finalization on that whole project. It's been a few years, so I'm glad that it's finally getting done. Um, number five, the Brady Lake property. Um, we should have a dorm room. After talking with Denise, um, she has something that she wants to be able to talk to you guys about in um, her set, an executive session because it could be um, pending or imminent um, litigation. And number oh. five. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to ask her, I'll send her an email after this to make sure she puts it on her agenda to talk to you folks about. But what she's explained to me seems like it's something that will work to get things done on this. So and finally put. take it off then? I'll take it off mine and we'll move it over to hers, okay. however that happens. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next item I have is the Justice Center Women's Edition Project. Um, the architects will be here next week again. This time we're all hoping that we're going to have some finalization on the kind of layouts and I'm hoping some um, possible construction costs mm -hmm. so that we know where we're headed with this. Since it kind of took a little bit of a different ter turn and we started looking at all areas within the jail that we'd be able to mm -hmm. put people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joanne, uh, yes. this is a digression but seeing uh, Faith and Terry here, um, would you want to go back up to Board of Elections office? Yeah, the, there's the only thing that's new there is after we talked last week on should we have the architect do temporary space and or permanent space and then we said no they need to set the program up for what's the permanent space to make sure that we can fit down there and if we can't then we need to move on to other things don't waste time and or money on on temporary space at this point so 
they went back. The architects are, were going back to redo their contract. I got it late yesterday afternoon, haven't even opened it up yet to read it to see if they've given us exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the update on that piece. You know, I want to make a statement and make sure we're all on the same page because it came up yes. the other day that yes. you were going to be moving before the general election. No, no, and that no, was not no, our understanding. No, 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 no. Okay. No. So no. You're, you're right where you are for the we general election. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, that's what that we place. thought. Right. But okay. I was yeah. sure that you guys were, but then something else came up and was like, Yeah, and oh, no. someone yeah. there's definitely a lot of rumors someone going around. There are. Yes. But yeah. no, it is our our complete understanding that we will not be moving or making okay. any changes Before whatever change. those may be until after the November okay. presidential election. And, and we, we said, said that we were going to help you guys with the lines of people and, and maybe put some benches and things like that or try to redirect people, help you do that kind of thing right. mm -hmm. through this winter, you know, through the November. So that still stands. I yeah. understand someone went into the Board of Elections and cast dispersions on the commissioners for making a imprudent move and moving you to the sixth. And week. we haven't done that. We yeah. had no intention of no. doing that. We did not do that. Well, we, we no. may do it. it we not, don't need not to talk before, about it. Not, yeah. before. not before. No, 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 no. no. That is what yeah. was supposed to be yeah. conveyed. Okay. Well, do you I, have any comments or maybe yeah. questions that you're maybe confused on that maybe has been discussed? Yeah. Or we want to we elaborate quite confusion. a few. <laughs> yeah. There is quite a few. and. I think once we're at that place where we are making decisions, and I don't believe those decisions are going to start to be made until the architects are signed right. on board, we sit down and have those meetings sure. with them, you have meetings with them, and so forth. But I think at that point, once we do have those meetings and some, they're giving yeah. suggestions, I think that's when we need to sit down, hopefully as a unit, and make those decisions as to what our next steps are. If right. there is a move, where that move may take place. If there's mm -hmm. not, then why, you know, and, and put a plan together together. Right, um, together. And, and hopefully understanding that we're not trying to ask for more than what we need, right. but we also need to be able to conduct business appropriately right. no matter what our future holds. Right. But faith, I mean, right. your input is vital. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, has to be. We just can't sit up here and say, "Well, we're going to do this." And right. That. Mm -hmm. and it all and starts with being yeah. said. Mm -hmm. It all starts with that program. Right. With the architect. And that's not true. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, and you're. I, I believe. I know that you are on board with that. And and you are. I mean, the, this first step with the architect. Okay. Oh yeah. That's mm -hmm. acceptable, yes. palatable. Yes. Okay. So we just want to make sure we're on the same. Page. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And clear up any. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. Um, the next one down then was 13 on the electric rates. Oh, yeah. um, NOPEC came back, met with Todd and I, and gave us some new rates on what they would be able to do, which are less than what they were before. Um, and I contacted, um, so then I turned around and contacted the CCAO program and said, for the areas, the, the, the counties that you have done this for, what is the electric rate that you're able to give them right now? And he sent me some paperwork back, but that wasn't even in there. So again, I asked him, can you just give me the kilowatt hour cost mm. so that we can compare it? Um, because what NOPEC has sent in was much better than the first time they did. And Charlie indicated that right now they're kind of in this low flux, but he expects at the, you know, like at the end of this month, beginning in June, they're going to go push forward again. So in some respects, since NOPEC uses the same contractor or supplier, I should say, that I use for our buildings, I'm thinking that maybe we can, maybe the best move might be to go with NOPEC mm -hmm. and get our other buildings saving costs right now. I'd like to have them be able to put my buildings in at the cheaper rate because I'm paying a little bit more than what they showed to try, you know, to help us all and then have that last, I think it's 35 months, not even 36, but they're calling it 35 months, let us go through that period and then it, before we sign with anyone else or whatever, we might be able to go out and do the RFP. I, I say that this way and then looking to see what CCAO gives me back on that kilowatt hour because if they're 
not that comparable or whatever. I think it's yeah, a win-win maybe to, sure. to go with the NOPEC at this point. Yeah. So, so, But you'll get that information. And come back it. with you. Yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Sure. I'm, I'm excited because um, the We're cost was... Save money no yeah, matter what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the name of the game, right? Competition. Yeah. yeah. Very prudent. All right, the NOPEC Energy Grant. Um, yeah. I have identified two projects at the Riddle Block. The grant is for $50,000. I have two projects, roofing and pointing and tucking um, con uh, cement up there or the bricks and things that are old and starting to come out. Um, they're over the $50,000 grant amount by about $10,000, I think. But um, those would be two that we talked to Charlie about, and he said those absolutely fit what the grant's asking for so that we would be able to put turn that grant in and hopefully turn the money around right away. Microfilm part-time employee, the job is posted, okay. um, and I think it comes down this week, so we'll be moving open on that. And then you had requested, I checked to see what rooms were open in the riddle block. And we have rooms 202 and 205. Originally, I think the judge's um, request was 203 and 205. Well, 202 and 203 are kind of combined. Uh -huh. So, But, yes, those two rooms are open so that you'll be able to move to the next step then. So can we do a journal entry to approve those two rooms for um, Lori Pittman's use? You can, but I want to know from Judge Pittman more specifically what yeah. the cost would be for this program. Yeah. Now she said, I think, there's some comparisons, are they doing this in Trumbull County? Trumbull County Which was doing it, and then she price. was looking for to work with Mark Frizzone on this project, and he was going to have some funding. John Thomas was looking at some grant funding, but you don't know those pieces no, no, no. yet. This was just the first piece to say, yes, those rooms are available. So when you get that other stuff yeah. decided, yeah. yeah. We but could do it contingent upon the... Exactly. Well, you approving uh, the other and, funding and or something. Yeah. But I, I just don't want any more surprises like that other yeah. grant. Yeah. Uh, I want to know what potentially those programs are. Sure. But those rooms are available, so okay. we do know that. All right, so we'll do that. Is that a minute yes, for both of you? Sure. Contingent mm -hmm. upon finding out the specifics on the program and program costs from the judge. And then I had one item that came up that I didn't put on the pending list because it's going to be a simple yes and no from you folks. Is sure. Adult probation <laughs> is wanting to go to Cleveland on a training institute um, for their folks August 28th to the 31st. They contacted the hotels that are providing this. Oh. They will not accept a county check. They wanted to know if they could use the commissioner's credit card to charge their rooms. And I wanted to just make sure and that you had no problems with it. Yes, they, we, they have um, four of the people going. It'll, it's reimbursed from a grant, and the other is from their general fund mm -hmm. amount. So when the bill comes in, we will charge back their, their account lines. Okay. That's we could do a journal entry. Okay, yes, certainly. And I'll yeah. send you the language on that. I know this isn't necessarily asked, but they'll be obviously very prudent with the use of that card. Yeah. It was just for the rooms, is what they said. Okay. You know, not That's like fine. so. Our I think. journal entry will say just for the rooms. Yeah, um, there you go. Okay. All right, and then now I have um, request for executive session, please. I make a motion that we go into executive session for the to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion or compensation of a public employer official or the investigation of charges or complaints against a public employee official, licensee, or re regulated individual. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Yes. No call. Yes. Yes. No, thank you. You know, Joanna, I know yes. this is really necessary. Oh. There's no oh. penalties for getting out of any contracts when we change electric. Two journal entries. Yes, right. Two journal entries to one was um, for the uh, hire of a seasonal oh. maintenance worker. Yes, and, and Joanne knows who. And, and, and I'll, I'll give you that, Amy. And then the second one was um, the approval for adult probation to use the credit card for tr um, hotel stay. Yeah. My goodness, fleeting. Do you think I could recall either of those? Mm -hmm. Oh, while, while you're here, could you tell us about yesterday's visit to the jail? 
uh, was the problem that the the drains are too large and they're abusing it and that we need smaller holes? Yes, yes. I, I took thought that's what you were saying. The grates are probably eight and a half by 11 like this, mm -hmm. and they have vertical yeah. channels in them, but the channels are probably this far apart. And I could see them and putting put all the kinds of things uh, down there. So yeah. I took pictures of them. Oh. I think that our local guy, um, Chuck Bruss from Bruss Sheet Metal, oh. can figure something out to put more you yeah, know, I lines in it, if you will, or whatever you want to call it, channels, so that they can't put things down I mean, there. I wondered then, I thought, gee, if you reduce it, is that going to cause backup problems or something? Well, he said it, it has to be enough to where they can rent stuff down there because yeah they yeah things yeah it can't be yeah it can't be you know tiny oh. yeah I'm just you know yeah I, I just thought we it really has to be it. almost bigger than a finger but you know they're putting f their fingers down yeah. there and stuff and it's just uh, terrible uh, I've I never seen anything you know like in my life no, of it. there's just not a perfect well it solution. shows like it, there's some mental illness I mean. very much so and, and that's what and they keep coming back once they're mm -hmm. out, and if they get some help from Kevin Coleman or whoever, mm -hmm. and like they like the deputy that was saying, they take their medication for a while, then they're feeling then better, they're and then they stop, like and then all of a sudden they're coming right back yeah, into the jail. It's a it's a sad cyclical mm -hmm. piece. So yeah, that was my intent was to to work to to get something that we can. So you'll come back. Yeah, and let you know that we've taken care of it. Yeah. Anything from us just to yeah. keep us in okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Oh, and I saw your, I heard your thing about the, the apiary inspector. Yes. And yes, I, I was only talking about his equipment. That he like, has. Right, like his, you know, the smoker, that kind of stuff. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant by equipment, that we've made that a condition of employment before. Uh -huh. right. All right. Thanks. Thank you. He's got the money shirt on. That's right. <laughs> Are you ready? ready. Did you have questions on the first resolution? This is the one, um, juvenile court. Um, you know, Judge Berger, when he came in on either November or December during the budget hearings, indicated that their recording system is dead. They're piecing it together with bubble gum and paper clips. Um, in fact, they've had a couple incidents this That's year serious. where they bubble almost gum? lost. <laughs> but <laughs> might be a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, they're they're piecing it together day, daily. They've had a couple incidents already this year where they had some scares that they may have lost some information. Um, they the they had indicated back at that time that they were going to try for this grant, and so we sort of put it off to see if they would get the grant. They did not get their grant. Um, the recording equipment itself is a little over 59000 and then there's two microfilm machines that are cost uh, just over 18000 um, Juvenile does their own records because of the, you know, the juvenile nature. Um, so um, they need around eighty thousand dollars to purchase all this equipment. Uh, it can't wait till next year, particularly the recording equipment. We had had that fifty thousand um, for Judge Giletto's applications. The the applications that we put that money towards were not approved, so that kind of freed up that money. So I'm proposing we take that fifty plus an extra thirty out of contingency, which we had kind of set aside, realizing that we may not get the grant, um, and then. Uh, put that towards the 80,000 that juvenile needs so they can proceed with these purchases right now And they got because they submitted the grant they have active quotes and everything sure. so now's a great time to mm -hmm. Just go ahead and proceed with it That's and this true. this resolution would allow them to proceed Make a, a motion to amend the general fund 2016 annual appropriation resolution number 15 1063 adopted December 15 2015 second <coughs> 
Um, for discussion, I gave you the tax budget letter last week. Mm -hmm. um, I hadn't heard any revisions. Are you okay with it going out of the list? Okay, I will send that out. Uh, do we do a journal entry? Uh, if you want to, just uh, yeah, acknowledge you. Uh, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you one last week. I'll send you one. Okay. Um, and then sewer policy. I um, have no intention of you acting on this today. I wanted to give it to you and go over with it. You. Um, you know, together, and then you can think on it. Um, there is no hurry to act on this at all, per se. Um, the purple highlight at the top is regarding the 50% addition, or what we call the one and a half times, if the customer fails to schedule an appointment when we indicate that they may have problems with their meter. Um, we send out a letter. Usually that gets a lot of people. Um, those that don't reply to that letter, we then send out a certified letter. Once they don't reply to that, we give them a bill that has one and a half times the charge on it. Um, currently, we do not have any policy in place where we refund that. Um, once it's on, it's on forever. So what I'm proposing here is a change that if a customer receives a bill with this additional charge and they call us before that bill is due, and make the appointment and get the, the thing corrected. Sometimes it's just a matter of there was a, a low battery or whatever the case may be, and sometimes the whole meter needs to change out. But if they call, they make the appointment and they get it corrected, that we would have the ability to um, credit back this charge if we found it reasonable as to why they hadn't attempted to make the, uh, the, the repair before that. Um, so long as that credit does not exceed 250000 Mm -hmm. um, and the request is received before the due date. Did you say you were doing a I got oh, budget yeah, numbers yeah. on my mind. <laughs> we, we, keep, we keep those about the same time. <laughs> just <laughs> 250, went, just 250. It went, from, it went from stark realization, shock, and then my heart skipped a beat. Sorry about that, not that's the passage, right, just 250. Right. Um, so again, the wording's there. The board can consider that. Um, and we don't even need to act until next week if we even act next week. But that would be the change I proposed to that policy. Um, shutoffs are a little bit murkier. We, we've been brainstorming different ideas, and to be honest, there really isn't there isn't an ideal shutoff policy. Um, I'm giving you the history there. Prior to June of 2012, the county did not shut off. Um, yeah. So you're, you're never your shutoff policy is fairly new. Um, resolution there was 12 O's. 120110 and then subsequently 130151 that amended that that created the current shutoff policy. Um, the policy is that if you have a prior balance and you miss the due date on this bill, we will shut you off. Um, and there's there's no exceptions. We shut you off and to get back on you have to pay your balance in full. One of the issues we have is our sewer-only customers don't face that policy at all because we can't shut off sewer. Our water-only customers only have to pay the water due. But our sewer and water customers, the policy is written such that they have to pay all their balance to get their water back on, which sometimes can be a hefty amount um, because it's sewer and water combined. Um, the, the benefits to shutoffs is that we get you know, our money more timely. Um, and the other benefit, if currently if a homeowner would move on us, we cannot certify their balance to the existing property. And if they refuse to pay, there's just really nothing we can do. We have to write it off. I will say those instances are few and far in between. That's really not a concern um, that, that, that looms large in my mind. Um, but that is one of the advantages is that we – they're less likely to go longer periods of time mm -hmm. with the balance. Um, the draw off, the drawbacks to shutoffs, um, <coughs> the biggest one in our mind is we certify anyways. Um, and we can even do mid-year certifications. We have in the past. Um, that is not something we do regularly, but we can. So given the fact that we certify every year anyways, the most anyone is going to owe us is a year's worth of payments. Mm -hmm. um, Certification is our primary way of then of ensuring that we get our money. Shutoffs help, but they again, certification is our guarantee. Um, and shutoffs are far more invasive, you know, on homeowners, etc. 
um, and then, you know, shutoffs, there's no way around it. They cause people to be angry. They yell at my staff. My staff gets upset. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's an unpleasant situation all around, mm -hmm. plus the time that's involved just in doing the shutoffs. Uh, Ken has to go out, turn the valve. The people hurry up and pay. He has to go back out, turn it on. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a nuisance. Um, the only additional issue to consider, and it seems like this may be why it started, Shutoff policies favor landlords in that renters don't get their balances certified. Um, they're inconvenienced by the shutoff and then they have to hurry up and pay their bill. Without a shutoff policy, the landlords were complaining because everything was certified to taxes, which the owner is responsible okay. for. Um, we have had people try and get us involved in their rental disputes. The owner's yeah. saying, we want them shut off because they're not paying. It, and, you know, in fact, a couple times we've had to go to Denise and say, Denise, you know, we want to be sure what we're saying is correct and uh, mm -hmm. that type of thing. So we try and stay out of that issue altogether, so I'm not sure that it should necessarily influence the board, yeah. but it is definitely an issue that's out there. My recommendation, based on everything, is that we end our shutoff policy, um, that we rely simply on the certifications. Um, my recommendation would be that we end it. DBFM will track the delinquent accounts, and if they begin increasing to alarming amounts because we aren't shutting off, I would come back to the board. I, yeah, I think that was one of the, probably Jeff came in and was leery of that or thought it mm -hmm. had a negative impact on the balances. My understanding in talking with Joan is that there wasn't a huge decrease in the number of people. There, we're hoping there's not a huge increase, right, but again, right, that's something right. we can easily right, track right. for you. Um, if, if you would even want to do it, um, you may want to leave it in place. Um, the other thing that we can do, though, is if they do become a problem and there's large balances out there, we could do mid-year certifications rather than shutoffs. Uh -huh. um, and given that you have to be delinquent on a prior bill and we only bill quarterly, the shutoff policy only affects you if you're six months behind anyways. Yeah. So mid-year certifications would be another way to solve that problem anyway. So I wanted to bring that to board. Sure. That's something for you to consider. Again, I'm not expecting decisions today, and we can even do discussion next week. Um, you know, there's there's no hurry to act on this. I'd like to discuss it just mm -hmm. Absolutely. Bit, if mm -hmm. you could. Um, concerning the first section. The 50%? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you have in here that either <coughs> you or the director of, of uh, water resources mm -hmm. would make a determination and then you put in your providing it was the first bill the customer received with a 50% charge. Mm -hmm. The credit does not exceed 250 and the request is received before the due date. Um, what is the credit above? What is the 250? What does that mean? In other words, if the amount that we're waiving off their bill would not be more than 250. Uh, there are There are accounts where a 50% add-on would exceed that amount. Typically those oh. are commercial accounts. Okay. But basically the gist of that is if it's beyond that parameter, it would have to come to the board for okay. approval to waive. Okay. Um, if you say either the director or the, of either department, mm -hmm. so if either one of you said let's do this, um, that would happen. That's the way it's written, yeah. Okay. Typically, all the old policies just said water resource director, yeah. and so on the financial end, mm -hmm. started being the DBFM director getting tucked in as okay. an or. Okay, and then it would be good to add. Um, you keep that in there, but you know, just because of the, the way it's written, mm -hmm. involvement of DBFM mm -hmm. in anything it's money. money. And most of these come now, they don't go to water resource. Mm -hmm. not, to, not to pit one against the other right. red right. Right. area. Right. But yeah. I wouldn't anticipate that would ever happen. Uh, yeah. Concerning the landlords, mm -hmm. um, they can make it part of their rent Absolutely. agreement. Absolutely. So it's not a big burden for them. Absolutely. They can just add whatever they have. I agree. Sure. What they do worry about is that someone gets angry, turns they the water faucets all on, and leaves for a week. <laughs> and we, we've had to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we get all sorts of things happening. To me, that sounds like a criminal intent. Turning the faucet on is nice. Some people rip yeah. out the sink and leave runny pipes. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard it all. Wow. That's <laughs> but you're absolutely right. That's something that they can work in and 
It's Some something that we system. often recommend that, yeah. you know, that needs to deal with in your lease, not with us. What is this in the second? Uh, these are examples, I'm sorry. So then if you look at the attachments, okay. um, the first page there is where that 50% is in the policy. Mm -hmm. And where I've drawn the arrow is where I'd like to add that language, okay. leaving all the other language intact. Okay. Um, this 50% is also, if the, the first page, if you look, <coughs> Right here is 5,400. That's your water fund. Uh -huh. I'm only proposing we add this language to the water, not the, um, not the sewers. The water is where we get the residential accounts. Most of the sewer people that are metered are metered because they're heavy users, they're commercial accounts. So I am not proposing that we put that same language into sure. the similar mm -hmm. policies that are in Streetsboro Sewer and in okay. Portage County Sewer. So those are the other pages attached there, and you'll notice the 5600 and the 5200 in those locations, and I wrote no change on there. And then the last three pages, um, the, the third of the last page is your resolution number 1305, or 0151, that outlines the current mm -hmm. shutoff policy. Um, that would be what I recommend you rescind. And then the last page is the original policy that does allow for shutoffs. Okay. And what I'm proposing is we add a sentence to that simply stating that should either the Director of Water Resource or DBFM feel the circumstances warrant a shutoff, we would come to the commissioners. Okay. And what I envision there is if there's a really unique situation where people aren't paying Pembroke apartments, and, and they all work out, by the way, I'm just using that example. They owed a lot of money. We weren't getting responses from them. Mm -hmm. That may be an example where it becomes extreme enough. We come to you and say, right. hey, do you want us to shut them off? Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but my, my uh, recommendation is that we put the sentence in that we come to you for shutoffs then. And again, those would be extreme circumstances right. in my situation. Um, we would do away with the day-to-day -day shutoffs on residential yeah. customers. You know, Board, he has put a lot of thought uh, absolutely. Would you be willing to go with this today rather than There's no reason not to wait until. But it's just something else to be brought up, Kathleen. I think, I think he's put an awful lot of work into this, and I agree with everything he said. I do, too. Um, I do, too, but I'd like to read the entire packet. And I don't see any reason to. There's no emergency. No, no, he said it's not an emergency. I just. And we didn't have it in advance. I, I think it's very thorough, and uh, certainly if Kathleen needs till Tuesday, say, to read it or whatever, digest it, uh, or ask questions, and then I would, been I would want us to go, go vote on yes. it to actually... So maybe bring well, it back. I'm hoping you, you know, we'll vote on it. Uh, it can subject. go Tuesday, or I can bring it Thursday, either one. Well, we could do it on Tuesday. It could just be okay. part of our... Okay, okay. Yeah, and I can well, send it for yeah, either a journal or resolution, I'm not sure. But Vicki, you're right, it's very yeah, well, it's it yeah. addresses... Yes, I'm sorry, I do have one for you. Yeah. And I'll email you that. I'm okay. um, and then the last item, um, we were ready to talk about the APRs today. Oh, gosh, um, yes. I was listening that you, you do want them under me. I kind yes. of assumed that when I saw Denise's email that it right. would be extra work. Um, yeah. I, I'm okay with going. I would like the board to be aware um, there are certain policies that I would like in place, um, not even for Mr. Alarcon per se, but just for our protection in terms of, um, you know, he brought up he cleans with bleach water. That's a, an acceptable standard practice. I would like a policy in the county that says we do that. That way if somebody comes forward and says, hey, you infected my hive, we can say, no, we follow these practices just for the protection of the county. I think on the, on the actual inspection guidelines and what his procedures have to be are all part of state law. The things he inspects are, um, again, like the cleaning procedure and whatnot isn't in the revised code. It, it is in a – he gave us a whole handbook of the APR's guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, again, I, it would be as simple as simply adopting a lot of that as our active policy. Um, those are all issues, though, I think that can proceed as he's him. working. Okay, um, so I'm okay with the board proceeding with an offer letter. Joanne made the recommendation that we include he'll use his own tools. Um, there are certain safety requ uh, equipment. Um, he uses disposable gloves in particular yeah. that we're going to have to purchase, but those are minimal right. expenses. And, and again, uh, we had some discussion um, about that, but I would be willing for us to incur the yes. cost of yeah. any supplies. I don't mean outfit, but 
you know. Right, like disposable gloves, he has to wear those because yeah. as he goes from hive to hive, yeah. he doesn't yeah. want to, you know, transfer. Sure. Um, those are type of things well, that would be a recurse. Things things they they have a veil and that type of thing. Um, he currently has his own. Um, okay. Certainly, we could replace that sure. if it's well, we you know, talked about wear possibly uh, adopting a uniform of some form of a clothing allowance. I would like him. I'm not sure if he wears the jacket. I don't believe he does. I think he just wears the veil and the disposable gloves. Oh. So I would also like to buy him a couple shirts that just say Portage County, similar yeah. to what like Dave wears. Yes. Um, you know, that just so sure. that he, he looks. Um, and again, those those expenses are minimal, and those are mm -hmm. things you know you buy every other year or so. Right. I would assume. Right. So um, he, he doesn't wear like. Protective clothing? Well, I, he oh. has like a long sleeve shirt, but I don't oh. think he wears the full jacket. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. there are people who don't wear anything. Um, once you get That's used to them, <laughs> now if I approached oh. a hive, I would be like in a moon suit. <laughs> but, you know, some of, the, some of these beekeepers, they go in, they don't even have the veil on, they don't have gloves. They, oh my you know, um, I've been watching videos, it's kind of amazing. I mean, the bees themselves. Honeybees die when they sting, so they really don't want to sting unless they o feel overly threatened. So if you're gentle and you do it at the right times, he pointed out, 85 degrees is where they start getting irritable. Oh. You can't do it in rain. I mean, there's, they, you know, but he knows all that. So there's certain yeah, things you know. where you don't approach a hive, uh, you know, if you see those this, things happening. Uh, this reminds me of when I, when I was a first grade child. Mm -hmm. Our teacher took us to a bee, uh, to a farm where they had bees, and I was standing there looking at everything, and the bee. The man who handling the bees took this square thing full of bees and shook it, and mm -hmm. the bees all fell on me. He did it on purpose. <laughs> I was terrified. I <laughs> <Right>, traumatized <laughs> for life. <laughs> I, mean, like, and, and I didn't get stunned. So the whole time we're why, talking, your skin's I can't imagine yeah. that well, they aren't, today. You know, now yellow jackets, they'll come after you just because yeah. you looked at them wrong. But anyway, Can so I'm okay with proceeding with an offer letter even today. Yeah. He is coming in later today if the board wanted to. Uh, concerning the guidelines, I think he has to be licensed by the state. He does have to attend a meeting in March, which he already did do. He does not have to be licensed. He's disappointed. Yeah. Oh, disappointed. Whatever the yeah. state guidelines are, yeah. we would like to follow Absolutely. and yeah. adopt if we have to adopt them yeah. locally, whatever. And that's why I said much of it is simply going to be sure. taking what's already there, both yeah. in the state and in this handbook he provided, and simply uh -huh. accepting it as our own policy, sure. given that it's acceptable practices sure. in the industry mm -hmm. or whatever that term is. So do we have the letter? Yeah, I have it drafted. I'm just waiting okay. to hear who he was going to fall under. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's Okay. All right. Yes. I think we should call Dave McIntyre and tell him. He actually stopped up. He's aware. Yeah. And oh, you're welcome. Anyway. Yeah, he was going to come in with us, and we said they already decided, yeah. you know, not to go with you. And I yeah. told him it was because of Denise's email that yes, there was just okay. going to be extra, yes, extra right. work involved. Okay. So we would need a journal entry that maybe okay, that well, will extend the letter, offer letter to him. Uh, journal entry, except submit the offer letter. Yeah. And I believe all the other terms pay and everything you guys have already discussed. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Not only the offer letter talks about the probationary period. Oh, well, that's July. <laughs> Gosh, he's been working for. Yeah, so he's long. been working yeah. for so yeah. long. Yeah. It almost yeah. seems. My recommendation is to include it in there, but like just because we do it to everybody, but okay, it'll like pass. Days, well, it's nine the years. The personal policy maintenance was 120 days. 120. So. Well, go ahead. I mean, we know we know. Sure. So, yeah. Be consistent. Sure. Yeah. Be consistent. I don't expect any. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, the CDBGM. Oh, yeah. Could we take just a maybe a two minute break? Sure. Recess? Yeah. Yeah. Recess. I have to go get mine. Do you want to revisit each one of these as to what we decided, tentatively decided? And then we have a response. Well, I think we, we decided to fund Wyndham Village, the 124. Right. Right. Wyndham, yes. Wyndham, the first one. Installed the first one. Right, right. Yeah. Installed the new one. Okay. 
And then we skipped down to uh, uh, Manaway Township. Manaway Township and restoration. They only went 36 eight. 36 eight. Even though we yeah. offered more. But the trustees now, did they decide? Or they right decided we, not to do that. that. Yeah, they okay. don't want them. Because that was one of the, light. okay, that's, that was one of the, mm -hmm. we wanted the trustees to decide that. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And we didn't hear back from Bob Finney, however, concerning the... Well, didn't he tell us while we were in session that he would take whatever yeah, we were giving? Yeah, okay. So Coleman were doing the 26 735 Right. Mm -hmm. And Bob Finney then, then would be 63 Eight sixty-five. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. said that you need a spare bucket too. A what? Spare. In case one of these fell. Oh, through. Oh, spare. I'm sorry. I thought you were saying fair, like in fair housing, and so we set aside. I'll transfer that. Yeah, no. Sixty-four thousand sixty-five dollars is what we've got left over. How much? That's no. Well, that would go to Bob Finney. I mean, uh, Ravenna. What? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what we would be giving to Ravenna. Sixty-four thousand sixty-five dollars. Right. Okay. Um, okay. And then the um, one that would be contingency. Yeah. Which one are we going to have as a? As I, you know, as Amy said, uh, Lisa said the state. Likes to have an alternate right, proposal. Right. Depends on which one falls through, I guess, for the amount of money. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. We should probably take the most expensive one, so that yes. no matter how much money. Is which there. would be Mantleway Township Village. Ma no, 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 Mantleway Village. Mantleway Village would be the next one, one thirty two yeah. five. So this would be the alternate. Is that all right with yes. that, both of you? Yeah. Okay. Well, and the village would be the alternate. Right. Yes, so we've got wrap so up. We can do a journal entry to that effect. Yes. Okay. Wyndham Village, 121400. Right. Um, Manaway Township Trustees Restoration Society, 36800. Coleman Professional Services, $26,735. And Ravenna City, $64,065. The alternate being Manaway um, Village for one thirty two five. Okay. Journal entry that? Yes. Board? Okay. It's a good deal. It was easy this year, wasn't it? Yes. It was easier this year, but I liked last year better. I did have a better project last year. Okay. Good enough. Um, did you need any of these proposals, Mike? Do you want them? I have the overall, but I want to go over the numbers and okay. things on this website. Okay. Do you want the pictures and all the? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have to have the pictures over the files. Okay. Have to have the I, I feel a chicken sandwich with shredded lettuce and Buddha cheese going on. There's no public comment that we know of. Okay. If there is, we can come back. Well, I was going to leave, and from there I was going to go to the courthouse. So. Oh, you got to get your gas. Yeah. Yeah. If there's public comment, we can we'll hear them. To hear and to comment. Mm -hmm. and to listen. And to facilitate public comment. <laughs> okay. Am I going to go up and get this turkey sandwich, or am I going to see if someone's going out? Okay, shall we recess? Yes, all right. Are you having to make an executive? Overdoses in the 50s. I mean, it's not just young people. Oh, no, it's not. And many, many people were given medication through prescriptions, and they got hooked. Oh. And then when the doctor wouldn't prescribe anymore, then they go to the... Are you okay? Oh. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Are we on? Oh, we're on. Yeah. Okay. Gina's going to indulge me here for a second. Sure. The sheet that I have laid out in front of you... The resolution that I brought back to you this morning for water resources was a sewer agreement with Omni Brimfield LLC. Mm -hmm. Well, 
this morning, um, they have a new owner. Oh. And so Water Resources sent me the corrected one, which is the Revised. second page, which is pressed dot pipe one. Okay. And I'm wondering, you know, with the consent agenda, I didn't exactly know how we could switch them. I would rather switch them today before they get permanent oh, instead of having to do amend. an amended yeah. one, if that's okay with you folks. May I ask, were they acquired by another company or is this, this company? Um, all I know, available? all I know from what Water sent to us was is that the developer changed it. To the, the, he changed the owner piece of it. Yeah. Okay. And it came in today and the, of course the agendas were already done, so if we can switch them it will save having to do another resolution later. Right. Can That's we do okay. that, Amy? Yeah, I think so, sure. We should be soon. Mm -hmm. No? Not can we say replace? Let's I rescind know. the previous one since we already no. passed it this morning and do this. Do this? Okay, mm -hmm. however you would like. And here's Amy, you can have this then. And now would that have the same, that wouldn't have the same number then, Kathleen? It yeah. could, yeah, we could just okay. add it to this. Okay, well I thought if you rescinded yeah, it, that yeah, number would be more. Yeah. The same number has a very good question. Or do you want to just make a... Can't we replace make it? A, why don't we do a, a, make a motion to... Or change. change uh, or change the name? Change the name. Change the name from on this particular resolution, resolution yeah. from okay. what we had before to Omni Greenfield okay. LLC. Right. From the um, and does Amy have a copy yeah. of this? So I just gave it away. Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks Joanne. Thank you. So, can a motion? Yes. I make a motion that we that we do that. I'll second. Okay. Kathleen? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, Gina. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh. Fine, thanks. And yourself? Oh, just another day in paradise. Hi. Hey, he's living the dream, <laughs> not worried. Oh, well, no, you're living the dream. When, when you say paradise, kind of slow, it becomes pair of dice. Yeah. It's just yeah. a crapshoot what we're going to get into. Yeah. That's right. Understood. That's a good attitude. So, uh, okay. I'm almost yes. asking, how is it going? And, um, it has its moments, right? Oh, it always does. Yeah. Always does. Do we need to go into executive session about anything here? I mean, I don't I, know. You we, know I'm I think we kind of do, probably. Thinking we do, um, we do, I believe we want to be very candid, open and candid about. I and appreciate we, that. I have some issues yeah. that I think are sure. employee related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To All right. right. So then, then, yeah. then we I have well, justification. Make a motion to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official, or the investigation of charges or complaints against a public employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual. Second. Any further discussion on the motion? If not, we will call. Kathleen? Yes. Vicky? Yes. Marie? Yes. Motion to exit the executive committee. Second. We'll call. Second. Yes. 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 Session. Yes. Oh no. We're just happy. Are we? We're just happy. Yes. Try to be I as quick as possible. I heard that, but I'd like yeah. to give you the color since I made them for you, and my wife um, complimented me on the colors I chose. So. It's very nice. <laughs> Those were my campaign colors. Were they? Yes. Wow, very good. Very good. Um, I won't keep you too long. I, uh, I really do appreciate the uh, opportunity um, to uh, to present an idea in front of uh, the Who's commissioners there? of Portage County. Um, bless you. And. Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm I'm sure that anyone that uh, that just requests a meeting gets one. But again, I, I appreciate the time. Okay. So uh, my name is Andrew uh, Cashman, um, and uh, I've been I've been kind of thinking about an idea uh, on my own. I, I, you know, for about two years, um, I, it kind of came up when I was volunteering for a uh, an organization that helps veterans um, 
helps promote the, uh, the uh, uh, value of veterans to employers. Um, and, uh, but I'd like to make clear in this, in this uh, program, which I've named SITUP for now, uh, Citizen Upstanding um, is, uh, is what it is, it is the mission statement, which is on the second page. And um, it's really what this, this is for, and, I, and I, I believe it would be for a county type um, of, of government or some sort of governmental program is what it could be for. Uh, and I'm going to read that real quick and, uh, and give you some disclaimers after that. Um, I think the mission is to improve population and good citizenship without gentrification in depressed yet solid communities by providing valued incentive for specific groups across the country to re relocate. So let me disclaim this real fast. My, my feeling is that in depressed areas that a solution would be um, more population because there's sometimes there's there's a flight uh, that exists in depressed areas um, if that's you know and that's my own theory in, in but it's something that I've thought if that's not the case in Portage County then I'm in the wrong spot and I get that but I, I, I don't know too much about um, Portage County except for uh, some recent experience uh, I'm from um, I grew up in Cuyahoga and I'm and currently live in Lake I'm looking to uh, to move and I've recently looked at a, a, um, a property in Wyndham Mm -hmm. I think that would be a good example of, of a place that could use some uh, some new population. But we need jobs. That's what brings in people. That's right? great. That's a great point. And, I, and, I, and I'd like to come around to that eventually um, with uh, some secondary items. Um, so, so my other disclaimer is I'm not a salesman, and I have no expectations from today. Today is just an opportunity for me to, uh, to let some important people um, hear an idea. And that's it. If you have some suggestions and some, some uh, um, opinion, I'd love to hear it. Uh, but there's nothing that, that needs to be done other than I appreciate your time. Okay. Currently, the involvement would be a program, the SIT-UP program, which I love the name, by the way. SIT-UP, right? It's, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, it's an action, right? It's, it's a posture. Sit up and take notice. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I do have uh, I do have a, f a feeling that we would have a, um, investors needed, uh, and I'll get into that. Uh, local contractors and the new citizens, and I'll, and I'll explain uh, why I think uh, the groups that I've that I've uh, uh, identified are, are um, valuable, and uh, and how there might be others that I haven't even thought yet. So the big idea is this: we're going to to uh, use uh, government assets to to uh, incite value. Um, I'm looking for uh, housing that can be uh, provided to the program um, uh, within $20,000 of rehab. And, uh, and, and, and we would take a, a group of people and, and market the ability to live at a very affordable cost. The costs we'll get into when we get into the uh, investor section, but it's very low cost where you can own a home within five years. While also getting other, uh, gaining other lifestyle perks. Um, which might be some uh, uh, some benefits around the country within businesses and or um, government uh, other government programs. Savvy savvy investors front the rehab costs and they're paid back with interest. Local contractors rehab the homes, and then you have a new citizen relocate. Hopefully, exemplifying some of the traits, which were the reasons why you brought them in in the first place. You might be looking for someone who has shown good citizenship citizenship before. And if they were to do that, the idea is that that type of um, new citizenship, volunteering, um, you know, involved with the community would spread to your current population. If you were to have a, uh, a program within the county government or any other type of local government, you'd, you'd have a lot to do. And, and I've got several bullet points here, and that probably wouldn't even touch the surface. Uh, you'd coordinate the inspections and choose available housing. To be honest with you, I, I'm very transparent. I don't know what type of available housing Portage has. I'm making some assumptions that there might be a land bank that would be uh, a, re, uh, um, a reutilization type uh, program that you have. Right? Uh, market and coordinate with investors. You'd handle funds, market to potential citizens, have ideas as to how to do that with each group. Um, assess applications. This would be a privilege, I believe, for someone to want to come here. And I think there's incentive for that. Coordinate with rehab uh, with local contractors. 
and uh, new involvement with citizens. You might you might uh, host functions for the new citizens and things like that. And grow and improve the program by developing new in ideas and agenda. And, and we're going to get into employment with uh, new ideas and agenda for a program, um, too. Okay. The investors would uh, invest uh, an initial twenty thousand per per uh, home. Um, a portion of the new citizen payment uh, at five years would be five hundred a month. To uh, that would go back to the investor, which would um, be at least thirty thousand dollars for five years, if not more, if we associated some of the interest gained uh, back into that for the investor to make that a little bit more uh, of an incentive for an investor um, to. Uh, to actually take part. If they're local investors, maybe there's other incentives that, that you can throw in their uh, local tax agreements, things like that. Local contractors, um, you know, I didn't put as much thought into this, but of course you would vet them and uh, also use them as, uh, as part of the inspection uh, process in order to, in order to choose which, uh, which housing uh, would fit. Mm -hmm. um, and then here's the new citizens. I've, I've got two groups that I've uh, that I've identified, and uh, one of them is going to sound familiar, as I, I told you, I was involved with a, a veterans group already. Uh, this isn't just veterans; this is out processing military. Um, I, I was uh, also in the military uh, now a long time ago. Um, some of my uh, compadres that are uh, that's still in the military are getting ready to retire, which makes me feel a little old, but that's okay. All right, uh, or I should have stayed in; I could have been retiring. Um, it's very scary for them. I, I can attest to this personally and by speaking with them in the current day and age that it's a very different thinking about coming out and transitioning into civilian life. I believe, and we'll get into that you know, in a little bit, but I believe this is a very good group to incentivize to come to an area in order to uh, do some uh, um, revitalization. Uh, there's other criteria that you would use uh, for these groups. The other group was aspiring retirees, uh, someone who's ready to retire and maybe can't for other reasons, but could because of this, uh, because of this program, because of the affordability of the program. Um, the criteria I would think about is uh, um, instead of looking at the negatives when trying to filter through, um, filter through who would be, be the best, you'd, you would focus on the positive. So inst instead of saying, "Hey, as a government." Uh, agency, I wouldn't want to um, uh, discriminate. You, you would, and, and look at the negatives. You would look at the positives. Um, what type of person, uh, you know, are you the type of person that volunteers and that, and that has done things for the for the community you're in, whether that's um, a civilian community or a military community? Okay, why 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 uh, process mil military members? Um, I am biased. I think that uh, as a pool of People that they are, uh, they have a natural sense of service, um, but like any other pool of people that, that with a large amount, you're going to have all sorts of different backgrounds. A diverse background is a, is a good thing. Um, diverse skills, you are bringing some skills into the area. Uh, they are seeking civilian opportunities. That's the thing, and they're used to relocating. Mm -hmm. They've been kind of shoved about the country, without you know, without having that much say in it for the last 10, 20 years, depending on, on, on what you're thinking. And then the last part is possible pension. At first, you might want to use the, uh, use the, um, the grading scale to say, who should we bring in as, as in uh, military members that have had more tenure, so that the availability of jobs might not be as necessary if they can live at the rate that we're looking at. Uh, and I would say that uh, the same with aspiring um, retirees. You might even be able to um, uh, skip the investor step if a retiree is able to say, "Hey, I can I can front the two twenty thousand um, dollars, and then uh, and, and 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 be able to uh, retire at at the uh, at the rate uh, that I would like to." They also have diverse life life experience, and in this northeast area, we have good medical resources also. What can be added later? Um, not only is this, what I really like about this is it's grabbing population from not around the area. It could grab population from anywhere. Let's steal some people from Florida. You know, well, there's too many of us moving there, right? We, let's steal some people that, that are originally from Florida or from any other areas um, or stationed in Cheyenne, Wyoming, like I was. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and so not only would we have that, but you could add later where you would 
give the availability to partner with a local family and or group that says, hey, I'd like to take part in this too, and you kind of partner the two. Um, and uh, you're getting a little bit like re, uh, Habitat for Humanity when you do that, but that's but it's also a value, uh, it's a value to value game. You can coordinate other perks. You, you have a great college in, in the county, and maybe they would uh, associate with this program and, and, uh, and, and throw some perks that way. Uh, community centers, other membership, even even uh, even businesses might want to add to it. Family programs at school, uh, mentoring and things like that, we could add to the program later. And then employment placement. To be honest with you, Commissioner Klein, this was my first idea because this is what I came from was a volunteer organization that was promoting to employers. It, it's tough, I know. I think the value in the in the person, in the citizen, would be the same for for an employer. So if we were to add a placement program to where we uh, to where we said, hey, uh, local employers, here's a good pool of people that that would be employable. Mm -hmm. For the same reason, they would be good citizens. I think uh, if you're able to do that on some level, I think jobs would get jobs, and, uh, and and you know that that we could have something uh, with that. And then the same idea of five-year contracts. And then why the county government? Again, at first when I when I didn't know um, a lot, and I still don't know a lot, I will be transparent again. Um, I, I thought maybe this would be a city type. Thing. And then I started looking into it. I said, I think the county with the land bank assets and reutilization uh, would be better. You have legal opportunities. There's a lot of legal questions, I believe, um, in this and, uh, and a lot of uh, um, information gathering to be done. Uh, and and it might be more than one area of need. Uh, maybe the city of Ravenna in certain parts needs this, and so does Wyndham. And, and uh, maybe you can help me with a couple of other places where it might work. In conclusion, and, uh, and I'd love to talk about any questions or comments you have after this. It's uh, the best point that I, you know, I'm very biased again, that I, that I can say is that it's a worthy cause to question. It's a worthy cause to research. It's a worthy cause to develop because there's value for all entities involved. If you think about it, even if you brought employers in, there would be value from the employers. There's value for the government uh, when you're bringing in new uh, tax revenue and population. There's value to... Uh, um, the investors as they're they're getting that back and there's value to the new citizen because you're bringing them into a solid community and they're helping with that I, I think the content of what you presented this is very interesting um, I want in retrospect I want to ask you what is it that you expect or that you are asking commissioners to I am ex I'm asking nothing other than for you to listen if you were to have it, 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 at rather uh, either now or later to have said I think this is something that I'd like to look into more and, and use it as a county program then I would want to I would want to be involved in, in, in talking about that if you don't think that then it was just your time that, that I was asking for um, and, and that's it there there's a similar program I believe it's uh, with PMHA, the Portage Metropolitan Housing okay. Authority, where, and that may be a good group to talk to, or at least talk to the director, because they have a program whereby uh, people move in and pay a small amount of rent, and then gradually become homeowners after a number of years. Okay. And These are local? Yeah. Okay. I think you'd also want to talk with Neighborhood Development Services, uh, right. which is a new street here in Avenida. Uh, they run a number of programs that assist the eligible population in home ownership, uh, assistance with mortgage payments. Um, perhaps you know what you're saying about um, veterans. I, I think maybe I'm not sure if they have a specific program to assist veterans, but I know that they would always be interested in probably hearing about. Some specifics. Okay. David Vaughn is the director of uh, neighborhood development services. Uh, in addition to that, they and Vicki can talk to this. Um, the land bank is uh, not administered through them, but it's uh, yeah, it is. It's administered. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he administers the land bank. They administers it. So that may be uh, 
you know, you mentioned my And then another connection is um, when we listen to those people who are involved with the Portage Development Corporation, there are jobs available here and they have a hard time finding good employees. Mm -hmm. So like if we were making an incentive for housing for veterans that are leaving the service, mm -hmm. they would be good employees, I would think. I agree. And um, so there may be a connection there. And the, the director of, of uh, the Porsche Development Board uh, might be someone that you would want to talk to as well. Porsche Development Board. Is that, uh, is that Bradford? Yeah, Brad okay. Brad Earhart. Yeah. Okay, I have uh, I had his. Uh, yeah. and, and to be honest with you, it was too late because it was only the other day right. I was going to. Right. I was going to uh, see if he wanted to. Uh, the uh, connection would be that we have corporations that are looking for employees to the point where they don't want other companies coming in because that then is uh, uh, reducing their chances of getting good employees. Okay. So it sounds like it would be a good connection. Okay. okay. And these are government agencies that you're referring me to. Mm -hmm. uh, one well, is NDS is not government. It's neither. Uh, yeah. Other one C three. Okay, that is a nonprofit. Um, and also the Portage Development Board is a nonprofit. Right. Uh, Metropolitan Housing, I, is that a government entity? It is, yeah. I um, it what about Mark Frazone? He might be a good one to talk to as well. He's head of Family and Community Service. He's very knowledgeable a lot of programs. Of family and uh, community, community service. Community service. So his name is Mark Frazone. Do you see this as, uh, uh, when, you, when you're saying the Neighborhood Development Services and, uh, and the PMHA, uh, and you're saying they're nonprofit, that, that surprised me a little bit. Um, it, it sounds like well, it's PMHA a... PMHA is a government. You know, NDS is, it's, it's, that's not a nonprofit. Oh, it's not? Oh, I thought it was a okay. Maybe quasi-government. Yeah, maybe quasi-government. Quasi-government, okay. Funded by the tax. Mm -hmm. Well, NDS isn't funded by taxes. No. They... <laughs> They, they have access, <laughs> or they, they bring in a lot of federal money, or state money. But okay. They administer so it. They're right. The so administrator. Um, okay. They get administrative, administrative money off of that. So. So, so looking at it again, and, and again, this is not a veterans, uh, this is not a veterans um, program. It's, it's a program that, that is using veterans as, a, uh, as an asset mm -hmm. to, uh, to gain its uh, initiative. But looking at the initiative of gaining more population, is that, is that something that Portage County would be, uh, you know, is that, is that a need? Well, it depends. But when I, when I hear you say that, yes, we need increased population to fill the jobs that we have, but we want people who are eager to work and mm -hmm. have the skills. One of the issues that we have in Portage County is we have a very large population of very low-income people right. who really don't have the skills or mm -hmm. the ability to, you know, be employed. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a real burden on the welfare system. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, and the reason I mentioned veterans, that, because you use it as an example, but also because they're young when they retire mm -hmm. to start with, and they usually want a second career, right. and so they'd be a good pool of working. I people. agree. I, I totally agree. That's why I yeah. chose them as a, as, yeah. as a group to focus yeah. on. What, what, uh, what frustrates me just a little when I'm trying to get a handle on this mm -hmm. is how it fits in with I mean, we have so many silos of, of different organizations, how it would fit in so that there could be, this could become part of, a, of an institutional program that's already in place. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I thought about PMHA. That would be convenient. Yeah. Sure. And, and I think I should, I should do that exactly you said. Yeah, because PMHA already has a program very similar to this, and okay. I think they get uh, federal funding for it. And I'm sorry, I, I, you said talk to the director at BMHA, but I, I didn't write down a name. I don't, I don't know, know his okay. name. Okay, I can uh, find that out. Yeah. Easy enough. Uh, there was a recent change, I think, in the okay. sure. Yeah, but, um, but t talking to the people that we've mentioned will give you a lot more insight <coughs> as to whom they might suggest people as well. I see this as being a really an important uh, service to provide. I think it would help the economy because I know we have factories that are looking for good employees. Um, but it's hard to figure out how it would fit in, and I'm sure 
by talking to the people that we've mentioned. It, there may okay. be a place where that would fit. And you think it would fit in in Portage County also? That's another thing. I actually, to, to give you some backstory, I, uh, I, I, um, I sent the same cold uh, uh, inquiry uh, to five counties, and you guys, to your credit, were the first. So I appreciate yeah. that. And, and uh, I don't want to generalize too much, but I think it's because uh, it's a um, uh, women in leadership. They like new ideas better than men in, in, in leadership. Um, uh, my compliments to you on that. But I, I, I did. Uh, I, I wasn't sure about Portage County as much as uh, as I might have about some. No, other if, other if you think counties. of a place like Cleveland, mm -hmm. in inner city, there's all kinds of empty houses that would be available. For development, I'm sure many f fitting the criterion that you have of 20,000 or less. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem there, you have to have a connection to jobs. Mm -hmm. And the problem there would be there wouldn't be the kind of jobs available. Okay. You might be able to bring people in. They have affordable housing, mm -hmm. but if they don't have a job. They can't stay. And you think, and, and you're saying Portage County has more of that opportunity. I think for Portage that. County has a need for good employees. Okay. So. The housing incentive may bring people here um, to fill those jobs. We have employees that are begging for employee employers that are begging for good employees, okay. and they can't fill them because those people who are traditionally welfare recipients, many of them are elderly or have a mental illness or disability mm -hmm. of some kind or have uh, the cultural background whereby they don't have the working skills necessary. So we have a real need for good employees. And so I can see that might be an incentive to to bring people that are looking for, you know, yes. well skilled people. And that's good to hear. I would I would imagine, to be honest with you, uh, that the problem would be opposite, but I'm thinking more of a Cuyahoga County yeah. issue. Than, uh, right. And so that's good to Where know. Where there's high unemployment. Right. Right. Well, I appreciate your time. Is, sure. Are there any other questions for me? No, it's, a, it's a, I, I w I'm really curious as to how you got involved in this. Uh, I, I'm, I, I consider myself an idea guy, uh -huh. and um, uh, my background is background checks. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've worked at, since the mil since uh, um, I got out of the military. I was a primal policeman for a short time, um, and I always I always would like to work in something community related. Mm -hmm. Uh, and unfortunately, that didn't work out as well as mm -hmm. I thought it might. Um, and uh, and so I'd, I've done background checks. Mm -hmm. I've been in operations. I'm not a sales guy. Mm -hmm. um, so you're, you're self-employed? I, I am not. I, I currently work for a company uh, um, that, that performs background checks for employment purposes. Uh -huh. And um, and funny you ask, uh, mm -hmm. um, they, uh, they gave me a reduction notice because they were purchased. And so that's part of the motivation I had. I said, you know what, if I were ever to want to get involved in anything, and again, I have no expectations of this. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just taking a plunge, is mm -hmm. what I'm doing. I'm saying, I'd like to at least spread what I feel is a good idea out to as many people that I can, um, and then people that might have some, uh, some good uh, feedback for me, yeah. which you, you've provided. Many, many terrific programs start up with someone with a great idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hope it is one because I, I do believe in it very much. Mm -hmm. I'd like to notice one thing about the, uh, the front page there. Um, uh, you know, I have two upward arrows, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, um, if you put a little door and a couple windows on those arrows, what does that look like? Like a home. A little home, right. <laughs> and, and I think those are the two yeah. things that are going together. Yeah, I think home ownership is still um, what can drive good citizenship. Yeah. So, I appreciate okay. your time. Is this the end yes. of your day? No, we, no, still, we still have Oh, some that's things. too bad. I'm sorry. Well, I hope you have a good day. And, and again, thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Um, I, can, I have uh, on the back page of that uh, presentation, I have my contact information. Um, and again, I appreciate your time, and I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. extend the time that the water resource staff that are using county vehicles to take them home, an extension of time for that. Um, 
I don't know if she wanted Until to. Until we June hear back from Jean with a recommendation, right? He said June 16th, but you can order it however you want. Mm -hmm. he, his request was June 16th. Yeah, we did that. Okay. So we just need to do journal entries now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Make a motion that we approve the journal entries for today. A second. And for the discussion on the journal entries, let's make a roll call. Kathleen? Yes. Yes. Marie? Yes. Is there any Well, else? I have um, actually my review. If right. you guys want to do it, but you don't have to. Oh, no, we're going to do it. Sure. Are we, isn't that the one we do before we see you? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, you can adjourn. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Oh, we'll call. Kathleen? Yes. 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 Okay. Word of